everybody. Today we have Dell Latitude 5440. It's an I Intel Core i7 13th gen laptop. We'll take it apart. We'll see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. Start with the bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the front rest. So you find the gap and use plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your parts and work your way around the edge to disconnect both parts. Okay. And now the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all the internal components. So let's start with the battery. Let's unscrew the battery and then we'll disconnect it unless we can disconnect it first. Let's see. Oh, okay. So if you pull the connector up, it will disconnect. Now take out all the screws. Let's oh, okay. now we can pull out the battery. Here we have the type number and the part number. Now we can see our memory salts. One is empty, one is occupied. So if you spread those arms, then you can take out the memory. This is how we can replace it or upgrade to the higher one. Now, let's take out our Wi-Fi card. So, unscrew this one screw on the top. Now you can disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas. And pull out the card. So, if the Wi-Fi doesn't work or you would like to upgrade it, that's how you do it. Here you have the part number. Here we have our storage. If your laptop doesn't boot and shows no boot device or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, that's how you do it. You can take it out. That's the NVMe drive. Now let's take out speakers. So if your sound is bad, that's antenna wire, so it's rooted here in our way. If your sound is bad, that's how you replace your speakers. So pull out this connector. Take out the speaker. So those are our speakers and the, the Wi-Fi antenna is attached to the one. Here we have the part number. Mm. Now let's take out the heatsink and the fan. So if your cooling doesn't work, laptop overheats or fan is making grinding noise or doesn't spin, that's how you replace it. Disconnect the connector from the motherboard and that's how we take it out. Here we have the part number. And now let's take out the heat sink. Be careful, don't bend the heatsink. It may be stuck because of the cooling paste that's between the heatsink and the processor, so be gentle. All right, the heatsink is out. Here we have the part number. And 
Now we are pulling out the motherboard. So let's take out all the screws. This plastic part covers our motherboard. So we have to take it out. Let's see, maybe we can slide out the motherboard. So let's continue first with motherboard screws. So disconnected, one more screw here under the cable, let's see if we can slide it out now. Now it looks like we have to pull out the plastic bracket. So now let's disconnect the touch pad. All right, the motherboard is out. Here we have the model number. Okay. So now, as we can see, we could take out the keyboard if the keyboard doesn't work, but you have to unscrew all the tiny screws. There is many screws under that black shield. So the same with the touchpad, you could take out the touchpad, but it's usual, the part it's usually sold in one piece, the keyboard, keyboard touchpad, palm rest assembly. So now I'm taking out the Hinge screws. Unfold the hinge, and this is how we take out the palm rest touchpad keyboard assembly. Here we have the part number. Alright, and here we have our screen left, usually sold in one piece. Sometimes you find the part number on the video cable, but this one doesn't have the sticker. So if you're looking for parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.